And supporters of the anti-Islam and anti-refugee group Petit have held several protests in cities across Europe in the French city of Calais. Protesters defied a ban on demonstrations and clashed with police. Nearly two dozen demonstrators were arrested in the French city. Anti-refugee demonstrations were also held in Germany, Britain, Poland, the Czech Republic and the Netherlands. Meanwhile, counter rallies were held in several cities with protesters calling for asylum seekers to be welcomed. Tensions between supporters and opponents of refugees have been on the rise over the past year amid an influx of asylum seekers who flee wars in the Middle East and North Africa. To discuss that further, we're now joined by Shabir Hassan Ali, who is an activist and Islamic scholar, and he's joining us live now by Skype from London. Now, Shabir, when we look at Pegida, is it simply just a case of racism running amok? Unfortunately, it does seem to be um, uh, a very xenophobic, very racist organization. Um, but actually, if you look, in Europe, we currently have, whether people admit it or not, a recession of sorts. And um, generally, you find that when times are hard, these type of groups gain a lot of traction. Because you have this idea of, oh, you've got all of these, quote, foreigners coming in, and they're going to take our work and benefits and this, that, and the other. And you have politicians, certain unscrupulous politicians, and of course the media, which feeds this frenzy, and it gets people sort of rallied up and excited. It was refreshing, however, to see that there was um, a number of counter demonstrations. And I believe that, I hope, that the authorities in France and other countries are beginning to realize how dangerous this is. Because if, if Europe was to just look 60, 70 years ago to what happened in the Second World War, or what we're told happened in the Second World War, uh, it all began in, in situations like this, where people had a problem with the other. Whereas if, if, pe if humanity actually looks at, looks at itself, Humanity has moved, has constantly been in a state, in a, in a, in a state of movement. I mean, 500 years ago, there was, you know, no Westerners in America, no, no white people in America. Then they came and decimated the American natives. Um, they came to Africa. They came everywhere. These, the European people are people who don't, or, don't originate in Europe. They have got ancestry across other parts of the world. So for people in, in such a place, like in, in, in England or in Germany or Poland or wherever, France, for them to turn around and say, oh, we have a problem with the other, we have a problem with these foreigners, is extremely hypocritical. And it shows a lack of under insight and a lack of understanding um, that the leaders of these groups, and it, in fact, it shows the motive, which is to rally people up, to get people fighting each other so that the 1%, the politicians, can carry on doing the damage and doing the criminal activities that they continue to do. Uh, if people instead actually focused on working together, then I, think, I believe the situation would be very different. So this organization like Pegida and like the now defunct EPL over here, EDL in, in the UK, these organizations are just, um, I, I really don't know how to describe them, but they're very petty uh, and they're rallied on by the media and certain unscrupulous politicians for political gain. So arguably, using that definition, one could say that they are terrorist organizations. They use um, terror and uh, fear-mongering to push forward a political objective. And of course, they have politicians, like I've said, uh, supporting them and uh, sort of in, 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 in the background. And this, was, this has been the case with other right-wing organizations, right-wing racist organizations like the Ku Klux uh, Klan, and other groups. So, you know, this is, this is something which I believe it di comes in dips and troughs. Right now we're going through um, a, a peak um, because of the situation in the world. But people need to look around and realize that the reason all these refugees want to come to Europe is not because they you know, want to leave everything they have, it's because their countries are being bombed by the politicians who are behind people like Pegida. If these politicians were not paying to have uh, we're not using taxpayers' money to bomb places like Syria and other parts of the world and funding people like Daesh and Saudi and other people, then the refugees wouldn't have turned up. So instead of shouting and speaking against the refugees, maybe these Pegida people, if they had half a brain cell between them, 
should go and speak to the politicians and say, excuse me, you need to stop dropping, dropping bombs and supporting terrorist regimes like Saudi. So, you know, it's, it's very strange. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they have no insight. Okay, well, we'll leave it there at that point. But as always, of course, Shabir, we appreciate you taking your time to speak to us. That was Shabir Hassanani, who had been speaking to us live from London.